Okay, so we're going to install Nime on your machine now. Let's go to knime.org, nime.org. And down here, the open platform for your data. Click download now. And you can register if you want to get emails from these guys. Uh, if you don't, just kind of go over here and click download nine. And you're going to scroll down to find your version. And this is the Apple video, so we're going to go to Mac OS X. Uh, and there's two things here. There's one uh, that's nine from Mac OS X. And then there's nine plus all free extensions. You want the one without the extensions. Uh, this one is really big. I think it's over a gigabyte usually. And that's going to take you a long time to download. And it's going to give you a lot of great things. But you probably won't be using most of those in this class. So just click on Nime from Mac, Mac OS X right here, 64-bit. Let's go down. Accept the terms and conditions and download and I'll start so click on up here is this in Safari you see this is kind of a bigger download most of the stuff we were doing with R was around 60 megabytes this is uh, closer to 300 so it's going to take quite a few minutes to download here uh, so just sit back go listen to some nice music or get caught up on some reading for your other classes while this downloads. I'm going to push pause and I will restart the video as soon as I'm done downloading. Alright, my download is finished. So I'm going to open up my downloads folder and NIME, all this stuff, disk image, go ahead and click that. And it will load up. I'm going to go a little slow because, again, this is a pretty big program. A lot of features in it. Almost done. Okay, and bring something up here in just a minute. Okay, so now you're just going to go ahead and drag Nime over to Applications, and it will install it on your computer. There we go. So not really enough time to go open up some reading for another class, so I'm just going to sit this one out here. All right, looks like we're about done. 
Okay, so now I can go open up Launchpad. And there's Nime, so I'm going to open that up. There it goes. Verify it. Uh, well, let's see. Well, I'm going to go f figure out how to turn this off real quick. Just a moment. All right, so if you have this issue here, go ahead and open your system preferences. Go to security and privacy. And we're going to click the lock. Type in your password, and right here, allow apps downloaded from anywhere. And yep, yeah, makes it less secure. That's great. Allow from anywhere. Close that. Okay. And looks like we're gonna have to go on that again. Open. Okay, now it's finally opening nine. Okay, so you're going to select a workspace. This is going to be an area that nine saves all of its uh, files and information so you can just kind of use the default uh, if you don't want to see this again which i don't uh, you can click use this as the default to deny access again click ok and that should be the last step yep so now you're going to help improve time uh, some non uses data, sure. And here is the NIME workspace. So if you see something that looks pretty close to this, congratulations, you just installed NIME. And if you've done all of the other videos, R, X Quartz, R Studio, and R Commander, you are all done. You have installed all of the software that you need for this class. And I know it was took quite a bit of time. Uh, but hopefully it will be worth it. All right, we'll see you in class, and good luck with the rest of the semester.